Hi everyone, thanks for joining this session on handling conflicts with merges while working with Git and GitHub in Visual Studio. In the last video, I worked on adding new changes on a new branch and pushing my changes to my remote repo. Something that you might need to do during that workflow is to merge changes from another branch into yours. This allows you to leverage the work of your collaborators while you're still working on your feature. Here, I'm using the multi-branch graph to see how the branches are interacting. And I can see that there have been some new changes on this branch. My work in progress can directly benefit from those changes. So I'll merge that branch into mine so I have them for my continued development. Since my collaborator worked on the same lines of code that I had already modified, I'm encountering a merge conflict. The Visual Studio Merge dialog lets me know to expect that conflict. In this situation, Visual Studio will let me know that there's a conflict and then show me the merge editor so that I can resolve it. Here, I can specify the changes I'd like to accept from the incoming commits or from my local changes. For example, I want all of their changes related to this function. Now that I've resolved those differences, I can commit and push the merge to sync my local changes with the web. This is analogous to the following command in the command line interface, but it's much easier to resolve the conflict with the VS interface because otherwise you need to open each file and edit the file to resolve any merge problems. Now that you know how to work with branches and make changes, a great video to check out next that's not part of this series is the ability to create a pull request. Check that out in the Git Tooling playlist. Thanks for watching, everyone.